Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Realm. Welcome to the Realm Baby Pro. Back in again guys with a new video. And this video is going to be covering Genshin Impact. Yes, if you listened to my last video, I mentioned at the very end that I will be covering Genshin Impact. Now, in what form I'll be covering it, that all depends on the amount of time and investment I'm going to be putting into the game as well as yourselves, the Adventures of the Realm. How much are you interested in this game? So, let's get into the video, shall we? It's going to be a short one, but I hope you enjoy. And stick around, because I'll be going live right after this video. Ooh, bam! Right here is Genshin Impact. Some images for you all, to give us some flavor. Now, I know of Genshin Impact from a, a scene, if you will, a few months back, before pandemic days, I'm pretty sure, we were hearing about the similarities between Genshin Impact and that of a game called Breath of the Wild. Now, I'm going to be saying this story and then I won't be going on about it ever again, or at least I won't be mentioning it um, him here on out, because I feel personally Genshin Impact has made its own unique style. Yes, there's elements that look like Breath of the Wild, but other than that, I feel like as we get more into this game and as we get nearer to the release, there's a definite distinction between the two, and they're not necessarily like the clone that was mentioned way back in the day when it was first announced or first revealed. But let's dive in to why I'm doing this video, not only to announce that I'm actually going to be covering this awesome game, it looks like awesome, but also what we'll be getting once we sign up to this game. So. I will be going through the Launch Appreciation Awards that was just uploaded. In the description, there will be a link to Demon Kim. He actually just put up a video as I was getting ready for this video and went way in depth with it. So I'm going to be, as I said, a quick video going over this. But tune in to his video and then go and watch him. He's in the Chinese beta right now playing this game. So he's got a lot of information. I'll be following him, but I want to cover story, I want to cover a lot of the, the game itself, not necessarily just the elements of the features and stuff like that, unless, as I said, this is a whole combination between my interest in the game and you guys being invested and interested in this game also. So, with the launch of the appreciation rewards, it says, Dear Travellers, in order to thank all of our travellers who have patiently waited and eagerly supported us during our long journey, when Genshin Impact goes live globally on September 28th for Android, iOS, PC, as we can see behind in the image behind it, we will be giving travelers 1600 Primo Gems as thanks for their support. This is in addition to the 20 acquaint fate given for pre-registering. So I'm going to butcher names, I'm going to butcher information and stuff like that, but as I said, I'm learning this as well because I really want to you know, cover this. Turtle, shout out to Turtle. In the previous live stream for Dragalia Lost, actually asked me if I'm covering this game, and it wasn't until I found out recently that it's coming to Android where I was like, "Ooh, yes, I may actually cover that." And the reason why I had that sudden or change of wanting to cover it was because I thought this is only coming out for PlayStation 4. But in a matter of fact, it's also PC, Android, and iOS. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming out for play PlayStation with iOS and Android and PC on the 28th. Uh, I'll have to look into that. But um, it's also coming to Switch down the road also, which is awesome. I'll be playing it all over the place. <laughs> so you can see here I have um, a quaint fate highlighted. And there's Primo Gems. So Primo Gems are, if you've been covering, you know, here with, with, within the realm, you know, of Drugalia Lost. So I, I kind of translate it between those terms. So Prima Gems is pretty much going to be our Wormite. So this is going to be our 10 pool uh, amount right here of currency. So 160 from what I've seen is a single pool and 1600 would be enough for 10 pool. So once we hit Adventure of Rank 7, which I hear is going to be about an hour into the game, we will be able to unlock enough to do our pools. The official website pre-registration milestone reward is 10. Now these are individual pools. And the reason why the Prima Gems and the Acquaint Faint are different, think of the Acquaint Faint as a single ticket and the Prima Gems as Wormite in order for currency to use for this, that and the other, which can also be used for uh, pools. Now, 
when I say pulls or summons, they call wishes or wish. And also you can pull for weapons or characters. The global pre-registration is at currently 10 million, which we've also unlocked another one. So it's gonna be 20 and an additional 20 for the pre-registering, so we get 40. In addition to the 1600 Prima Gems, we have a lot of currency right there to jump into this game and pull for hopefully the characters we want. Now, I mentioned earlier at the beginning, stick around to the end because you'll find me live on this account, YouTube, Digital Realm, you'll find me live. I will be discussing the characters for some of them the first time that I've been seeing. Others I may have already seen in streams, but I'll be live discussing with you guys. You can educate me, we'll learn together what characters we want to go for, and I'm going to get a feel for what four characters, or maybe at least one or two, that I for sure want to get upon launch. So uh, that's pretty cool. Okay guys, so as I said, I was looking into what a primogen was. This is what it was. This is the currencies and stuff like that, as you can see. Um, so there's a breakdown right there. There's going to be more information coming out and right now it is in the open beta Chinese um, testing right now. And then there's the Quaint Fate. There's actually two. There's this one and there's another one where it differentiates between a standard banner and a exclusive banner or something like that. Um, more of a focused banner. As I said, Dion's channel is in the, the description below. Go and check him out. He does, he does a lot more depth than I am. Also, I wanted to kind of briefly go over the Genshin Impact official release date, FAQ. Um, just things that stick out to me. So we're going to be hitting that pit right here. So there's going to be subtitles and voiceover languages in Genshin Impact upon release. So we're going to get supported languages like English, Japanese, Korean, traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese, German, French, Russian, Spanish, Portuguese, Thai, Indonesian, and Vietnamese. Um, currently, the available voice over includes English, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. So um, we have a lot more subtitles being supported, but we do have voiceovers for four of the languages. Maybe they will have more come out down the road, but uh, at least a lot of um, different speaking languages are able to have subtitles so more are able to get into this game um, upon its release very soon. So when can they uh, download in advance? Well, for PC, it's going to be on the 26th, as you can see here, or 25th, depending on the time zone. For iOS and Android, we'll be getting it on the 27th or 26th, depending, again, on the time zone. So it's going to be dropping on the 28th, 27th, depending on the time zone. So keep an eye out for that. Um, depending on what uh, I'll be able to you know, do a live stream or whatnot, but depending on times and, and what's going on with scheduling and everything, I'll be going live for that. And it looks like actually the PS4 will be going live with everyone else, so very, very cool. Now, what I have heard, if you want to play on the PS4, you cannot then log into Android or PC um, and use that same account. You have to have to use a different one. However, if you use an iOS or Android, or if you use PC, you can use the same account and go back and forth. So that's something to be, you know, pay, pay attention or pay in mind, bear in mind, is if you want to go back and forth between PC and Android, do that option. If you want to be locked to the PS4, do that option. I'm not sure if you use um, Android PC, if you can go to the PS4 though and use that. But the other one I just explained is correct. Okay. So the rewards, as we mentioned already, that was the uh, additional rewards. These are our sign-up rewards. So you can have a gander at that. Accounts that you can use. Now, oh, okay. So it already explains right here that you cannot use the Android or PC or iOS to PlayStation because they use the PSN account. So you cannot do that. It's locked to its own thing. Whereas if you use the Maholio accounts, you can then, you know, back and forth and everything like that. So I'll be playing mainly on Android and PC. I'm very excited that this is actually coming to PC also, because if you follow me, uh, Dragadia Lost content and everything, I use my phone and the battery goes down real quick during events. So um, this game where I'm going to be actually more involved, I'm going to be playing it a lot longer than that. It's nice I can actually jump on the PC and actually play it off there, so that's very cool. Don't forget, if you want to uh, see more content with Dragadia Lost or Genshin Impact now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and become a venture of the realm, I really appreciate it. So, can I use my... Uh, Honkai Impact 3rd Mihoyo account, it says no. 
you actually need to sign up for another account on Genshin Impact's official website. And then the websites are all here, so you can you can check that out. Uh, I actually did download Honkai Impact to check it out. I haven't actually played it though, but I've downloaded it. So maybe on Sunday we can uh, dive in and we can kind of get a feel for what these games are like. Although I've been watching a lot of uh, Demon Kim and uh, I kind of get a feel for this game already. So I'm very excited. I play a lot of MMOs. For, you know, I played World of Warcraft now and back into it. So uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very excited for this. Um, can I choose a game server? Travelers are playing on PC, iOS, and Android can choose their server region from the login screen. On the PS4, the server region is set automatically based on your account region on your PSN. Can I change my server and transfer my character from one server to another? Travelers playing on PC, iOS, and Android can change servers. However, on the PS, oh. however, it is not possible to transfer characters. So we can change over servers, but not the characters. So once they're there, they're, they're locked in. So um, let me know which servers you're looking at. I don't know what servers there are yet, and uh, hopefully we can all play together, be on the same server. So as it mentions here, uh, I said earlier, uh, as the account data shared, it seems like between PC, iOS, and Android, it's on one sharing location, and then PSN is on a different one because of the PSN account. Can travelers across different platforms play together in co-op mode? And this is actually a yes. We can as travelers, once we've hit the required adventure rank, um, completed re related quests and stuff, we can play together with friends and participate together in co-op events. PS4 players can also join forces with friends and from different platforms and embark on a variety of co-op adventures together. Now, I have heard though, and I have seen at least on the, sh on the beta streams, that you can't progress story while in co-op. You can do bosses and stuff and dungeons and like side quests and stuff like that, but you can't do story. Um, so if there's a, a storyline you're trying to work together on, they have to leave and then you can hand in the quest and then they can come back. From my understanding as of right now. Will the data transfer be supported in the future? Uh, there are no such plans at the moment. Please choose your favorite platform to play the game. So pretty much if you want to be on PlayStation, like I said earlier, be on PlayStation. If you want to be on the other platforms, you can have the freedom of going between the uh, handheld devices and the PC. So that's the option I will be going with. Um, can I top up my account using different platforms? Travelers who have signed up on iOS and Android can top up on accounts of these platforms, but will not be able to complete payment on PC. Hmm. Travelers who have signed up on PC can top up their accounts on PC, iOS, and Android. And then again, PSN's locked to its own thing. So, what it is right here, make sure you sign up and, and get registered and get ready on PC, because then you can go back and forth more freely, you know, use payment plans and stuff like that on iOS and PC. However, if you did it on iOS or Android, then you cannot go to PC and then make payments and stuff like that. So if you want most freedom, go to PC and uh, yeah, if not, PS4. So what do you think of that, everyone? As I said, this is just a quick video, just pretty much saying that I am going to be playing and covering this game, Genshin Impact. And I'm super, super excited to jump into this world really soon. Now, if you do know, we have a anniversary for Dragalia Lost. So there's gonna be a lot of back and forth <laughs> between the two games in the same time period. But I'm super pumped, super excited. Um, we can knock out Dragalia Lost stuff within a couple of hours and then be fully into this game in Genshin Impact. And uh, yeah, what do you think about that, everyone? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Become an adventurer of the realm. We'll be covering Dragolia Lost and Genshin Impact from here on out. World of Warcraft does come out in a month's time. So again, depending on how much time I have and everything like that, I will bounce back and forth or uh, I'll incorporate World of Warcraft too in streams. But uh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to be on YouTube for this content and then Twitch for my live streams. I just feel like Twitch is going to become more and more of a streaming platform for me but again it all depends on you guys if you really find this interesting and you want me to keep on the on here for streaming i will do so but uh yes yeah, so thank you all very very much for being here within the digital realm i'll be back again real soon don't forget to stay tuned for this video to finish because i will be going live straight after for well depending on how i time it and everything <laughs> very shortly after i plan it to be finishing when i'm going live so we can check out the characters and dive on in to what, what potentially could be one of our favorite characters and who we're going to pull for and stuff and just have a conversation about this awesome game. 
So, uh, yeah, until then, everyone, stay safe, stay awesome, as you always are. I've been Proen, and I'll see you again in the realm again real soon. Johnny, everyone, bye!